The Rush Creek Wilderness Trail was possibly the world's first computationally derived unofficial public wilderness trail. The trail was first discovered by a computer algorithm called a virtual hiker that traversed the backcountry of California. The results produced a track log that can be uploaded to a GPS device and then followed by a real hiker through the actual landscape. The Rush Creek Wilderness Trail was first backpacked by Brett Stahlbaum and Paula Poole and is now open to the public. The trail provides beautiful views of the Great Basin Desert environment, plentiful wildlife viewing opportunities, and the unique experience of comparing the wayfinding abilities of a computer algorithm to your own wayfinding skills and intuition. The trail is in northeastern California near the border with Nevada and fairly close to the Oregon border. The trail runs over the watershed between Five Springs Mountain to the south and Rush Creek and Cherry Mountains to the north following Stony Creek draining to the west and Rush Creek draining to east. The climate in this part of the Great Basin varies be from below freezing temperatures and rainy or snowy conditions in the winter to well above 38 degrees Celsius, 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and dangerously dry conditions during the summer months. The trailhead is an arbitrary beginning location for the trail situated on a typical volcanic basalt outcropping. The falls are an intermittent waterfall where a small tributary enters Stony Creek. Note that the trail does not descend into the creek canyon here. Stay above the canyon rim if you are heading towards Stony Creek mouth. The mouth of Stony Creek Canyon is marked by a historic era graffito, Ed Fallon. At about 5,100 feet elevation in the area of the watershed divide, the Stony Creek and Rush Creek drainages are divided. Along this crest you can see both where you have come from and where you are going. The virtual hiker's view is where the virtual hiker made a seemingly unnecessary hike above 5,400 feet, but the extra effort pays off, revealing a nice view of the unnamed draw on the other side of the hill. These unnecessary switchbacks are an artifact of the stepwise arc hiker algorithm. They are safely cut in mild terrains such as this, so proceeding down to Rush Creek Spring is a good idea. The virtual hiker found this ideal location for a water crossing at the confluence of two small streams, one descending directly from Rush Creek Spring. Rush Creek Spring may be the best source of water along this section of the trail. The terrain in this area of California is dominated by outcroppings of relatively young, sharp volcanic basalt that has been baked black by the sun, producing desert varnish. There are relatively few comfortable or even possible places to pitch a tent. Rush Creek Spring is the best campsite along the trail. Just a few meters east of Rush Creek Camp, the virtual hiker produced an artifact that led up the draw to Rush Creek Spring, creating this nice observation point, and then turned around and went over a small ridge that begins the gentle sloping ascent to Confusion Ridge. Some good views of the Great Basin are visible from Confusion Ridge Summit, the highest point on Phase 2 of the Rush Creek Wilderness Trail at 5,354 feet. This ridge of Cherry Mountain is so named because the virtual hiker got confused running past this summit and out onto a scenic point on the ridge before turning around and riding itself. Even so, the virtual hiker actually did a very efficient job of getting to this point, successfully exploiting a gentle slope coming up from Rush Creek Camp at 5,000 feet. A nice scenic point is provided by the stepwise arc hiker's tendency to run about confused on ridges the point for which this ridge is named. The Bay Camp is a reasonable campsite near a spring and some bay trees. More unnecessary switchbacks are an artifact of the stepwise arc hiker algorithm. The ridge that they are on looks rather severe from atop Confusion Ridge and from Bay Camp, but other than some awkward volcanic scree is no worse than any other place along the trail. The virtual hiker passed over this small dome-shaped volcanic hill. At the top, the virtual hiker tested both the north and the south side of the ridge, looping over the lava. The virtual hiker seemed to prefer the northern view because it strolls quite unnecessarily off the north side of the ridge through some difficult mini cliffs and boulders. This steep-sided draw was crossed on a perpendicular track by the hiker because the algorithm only looks so far ahead in terms of seeking a better path and in this case found no advantage within its cone of vision and simply cut straight across. The spur to the east side of the steep-sided draw offers a nice view of the Skedaddle Mountains to the south. Last Camp is the last point along the Rush Creek Wilderness Trail that water can be found on public land because of the existence of a private ranch blocking access to Rush Creek near the Nevada border. 
The virtual hiker ran upslope here to take in an unremarkable artifactual view of the county road below, and a landscape of millions of wildflowers, foxtail, crickets, and funnel web spiders. A small basalt cliff. You could scramble down, but we just walked 30 meters or so around it. There are other similar cliffs in the area, amidst a great deal of not much to see. The Rush Creek Wilderness Trail runs into the fence of a private ranch at this point. Although the virtual hiker trail does proceed some 775 meters further into a cattle pasture, this de facto terminus is a good place to turn around. 